हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू डी एडमी तो इस लेक्चर में हम कंटिन्यू करते हैं हमारे फिल्म्स रिवीजन सीरीज से तो हम साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी के वेरियस करंट अफेयर्स कवर कर रहे हैं दिस इज पार्ट थर्टीन ऑफ द लेक्चर होप यू हैव सीन ऑल दी अदर ट्वेल्व पार्थ्स तो इस लेक्चर में हम डिस्कस करते हैं डिफेंस एंड स्पेस टेक्नोलॉजीज में सम और करंट अफेयर्स द फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द होप मिशन वॉट इज द होप मिशन ऑल अबाउट हु लॉन्च द होप मिशन एंड ऑल आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी वॉट इज सोलर ऑर्बिटर किस एजेंसी ने सोलर ऑर्बिटर को लॉन्च किया आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द मेटा मटीरियल्स वॉट आर दिस मेटा मटीरियल्स आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी टी एन वन वन रॉकेट विच कंट्री हैज लॉन्च दिस टी एन वन वन आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी द परसिवरेंस विच इज नासा मिशन टू मार्स आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी द अबाउट द इंटरनेशनल एस्ट्रॉइड डे वेन इट वॉज सेलिब्रेट एंड ऑल तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट होप मिशन तो विथ होप मिशन इज द first mission of uae it is the first mission of uae which is launched to mars this is the first mission the launch of united arab emirates first mission to mars was scheduled in last month in july so it was launched in july it was launched from the tang shima space center in japan tang shima space center in japan from japan this space, this you know spacecraft has been launched so hope is the uae's first mission to mars so what is the speciality of this why it, why july was selected as the month so july it was selected because you know the earth you know during the brief launch the earth will be very close to the mars so that is the reason july was selected here you can see the spacecraft must blast from the earth during a brief launch window in july since earth and the mars orbit the sun at different rates and are aligned at their closest point only once every 2 years so isliye so that they have to align once every 2 years they will come close to each other so isliye humne ye date choose kiya so uae ne ye date choose kiya it was launched in july so about hope mission so it was announced in 2015 by uae okay so with the aim of creating mankind's it's the first integrated model of red planet's atmosphere it's an integrated model so the main mission is the main mission of this hope mission is to study the thin atmosphere of mars wo study karne ke liye mars ke atmosphere ke bare mein to uae ne launch kiya isko the mission is officially named emirates mars mission and the orbiter has been named hope or al amal so hope is the mission of uae it's the first mission of uae to mars next one solar orbiter so solar orbiter was in news why recently the european space agency solar orbiter has released the closest pictures ever taken of the sun captured by the solar orbiter so solar orbiter is the so is the project of european space agency and nasa so what it has done this has this has sent us some pictures of the sun okay so the observation what are the observations made from these images the observations are there are many flares on the sun that the scientists are calling campfires so something called campfires like this these mini you can see in this image you know the mini flares that are there they are called campfires so these flares are there on the sun these have been observed so these flares could have do you know they have something to do with the heating process that makes the corona the sun which is the sun's outer atmosphere far hotter than its surface so corona is the hottest part so why it is hottest than the surface so because of these flares scientists are predicting that so the scientists will study more about these flares in the in the coming time okay a lot of missions to the sun have been sent already and there is a planning for a lot more missions so using these missions the nasa or the european space agency or any other space agency they will be studying this next one so so we continuing with this solar orbiter not next one the solar orbiter it is a joint mission between the european space agency and the nasa this was launched in february 2020 using the At alliance atlas v rocket okay it is uh, it, it was launched from the united states there is a joint mission between european space agency and nasa next one meta materials the meta materials are usually they are artificially crafted materials with a unique internal microstructures that give them properties which are not found in nature so the meta materials i you know these are artificially crafted materials that means they are artificially made and they have unique internal microstructures so which give them some special properties 
as you know all the properties are, cannot be found in a single material different materials have different properties but we sometimes will require all these properties in a single material so easily using the engineering techniques we are you know making these special materials where in which this material will have our desired that means the the properties which we required all the properties will be there in those materials okay so we are we are creating such materials the constituent artificial units of the meta materials they can be tailored in different shapes size and interatomic interactions to exhibit unusual properties okay that is about the meta materials next one tn1 project tn1 rocket so tn1 is the rocket launched by china it is a mission to mars you know it was mission to mars launched by china so what are the key points it was launched on it was on a long march 5 rocket from xinjiang china so it was launched from china so the landing site is somewhere in the utopia planitia which is a vast plane in the mars the it, that was that is the launch site of the rocket so the you know this, this is the same place this launch site is the same place where nasa's viking 2 mission has landed in the 1970s the tn1 will reach the red planet's orbit in february 2021 so as i told you the mars and the earth they are far apart their orbital you know their orbital speeds are different so the rocket a rocket in order to reach mars it will take a lot lot of time it, they'll have to travel a lot so easily this rocket which was launched on july 22nd in 2020 will reach mars in february 2021 okay that is about tn1 tn1 is a mars mission of china hope mission is the mission of united arab emirates uae next perseverance perseverance project perseverance is nasa's mission to mars so we have seen already the hope which is mission of uae to mars after that we have seen tiangyang one which is the mission of china to mars next is perseverance this is nasa's mission to mars all these three were launched in 2020 itself that's why this becomes very important so there might be a question which among the following mission is not a mission to mars such a question can be asked okay so this perseverance is as nasa has launched this uh, perseverance project you know it was launched in it was launched in 2020 so the mars 2020 project the perseverance it has a rover aboard which was launched using the Alliance atlas 5 the launch took place from cape carnival air force station in florida it is the third launch to the mars this month okay this was launched after uae's hope and china's tn11 spacecraft what are the key facts some of the key facts are the rovers will arrive on mars in 2021 same that of the tiangyang one and this will have a life of about 687 days you know which is which is you know larger than that of the earth 687 days is one year for mars which is different from that of the earth so perseverance is the nasa's mission to mars remember that next one international asteroids day the international asteroids day is celebrated on 30th of june 30th of June is the day when International Asteroid Day is celebrated. It is observed each year to mark the anniversary of Tungsuka impact over Serbia Russian Federation on 30th June 1908 and to raise public awareness about the asteroid impact. There was an asteroid impact in Serbia. Serbia is, is the which is there in the Earthsville USSR. Now it's a separate country. Earlier it was with the Russian Federation. So in 1908 there was an asteroid impact in Serbia. Okay. So when the asteroid impact was there, there's a, that's a huge impact. So in order to commemorate that asteroid impact, in order to commemorate that, we are celebrating this International Asteroid Day. So the 30th June is celebrated as International Asteroid Day. So, so this will help, people, help the scientists to raise awareness among the public about the impact of asteroids. The asteroids can have a larger impact if asteroid falls on any building and all. So there will be a huge impact. Okay, that is about the International Asteroid Day. So now let's revise what we are studying. The HOPE mission is the first, you know, Mars mission of UAE. Next we have seen Solar Orbiter. UAE's first mission is HOPE. Solar Orbiter is the orbiter of European Space Agency and NASA. Okay. After that we have seen about meta materials. These meta materials are the materials. We have seen okay NASA. The meta materials are the materials. With the different internal structures so that can have those they can have unique properties after that we have seen about tn11 tn11 is the rocket of china it's the spacecraft of china which is the mars mission of china in fact 
perseverance is nasa's mission to mars so these three hope tn and one and perseverance all these three are nasa's or uh, sorry all these three are missions for different space agencies to mars next is international asteroid day the international asteroid day is celebrated on 30th of june okay 30th of june the international asteroid day is celebrated okay so that's it friends in this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture till then keep studying and stay tuned jai hind